The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. When the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for, the, for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. As we begin this new year, the church invites us to honor Mary, the mother of God. Way back in the fifth century, the Council of Ephesus, in the year 431, declared Mary to be Theotokos. A Greek word, Theotokos, translates as God-bearer. More commonly, we call her Mary, the mother of God. Today, we celebrate her feast day. Each of us is called to be a God bearer, to give birth to Christ in this world by the way we live as Christians. Our first goal as disciples of Jesus is to follow Mary, the first disciple, and bring Jesus to our world. Mary had no idea where the road from Bethlehem would lead, but ultimately, she trusted God. The key to that trust, I think, is found in this gospel. In the gospel, Mary shows us how to stay connected to God through quiet prayer. She kept all that had happened at the birth of Jesus quietly in her heart and pondered, reflected upon the words and the events. We too must reflect upon the words and the events of our own lives that have hopefully touched us with the presence of God. As we begin this new year, we are invited to choose once again to live in accordance with God's word and to ponder all that leads to God. Lord knows what lies ahead of us in 2021, but it's got to be more better than 2020. I hope and pray that it will be a year full of grace for all of you and that whatever heartaches we may face, we too, like Mary, will trust that God will always have the last word. And it will be a word of love and a word of life. As we begin this new year, I thank you for beginning it with a focus on God here in church and pray that God will bless you in all things. Whatever lies ahead of us in 2021, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.
as we end the year, just a word of thanks uh, for your generosity to your faith community at Christmas and uh, at the end of the year. Um, even in the midst of the pandemic, financially, we're ahead of where we were last year at this time. And that, that just amazes me. Um, and hopefully it points, hopefully it points that post-pandemic, we will be also spiritually healthy. But that depends on each of us, whether or not we are God bearers. So financial health, yay God. <laughs> but more importantly, we want, need always, always to work on spiritual health.